Give me, give me like three seconds. Don't Jake, do it. Jake, we're live. Don't do it. Jake, we're, we're live. live. We're live. Oh no! We're doing it live. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. Just move your. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Terms of service. Oh, <sighs> we're gonna shave Jake's head live. Uh, Don't oh. worry. Listen, we're fine. When Jake, We're when fine. you go away, the names are right. I know, it but puts then when me you, on the other side. It's when you weird. come back, so go away. Yeah. So the names are right because I don't want to have to change them. Listen, uh, are we live? Listen, yeah, we're live. I'm now Jake. Oh, you are now Jake, and I am now Shiver, uh, which hey, is everyone. quite the quite an honor, honestly. Uh, Hello, if everybody. you're if you're just joining us, I forgot to hit record, but I've now hit it. Uh, you, Hello. you didn't miss anything. So you missed Hello, anything. YouTube no, humans. You missed you missed the most earth shattering. Um, well, yeah, really. So, nothing. Okay, uh, hey, Shiver hey, announced that he was pregnant. It's true. Uh, hello, everyone. It's just uh, fat. Let us be <laughs> serious. We've got something to talk about this week. Uh, I don't want to breed around the bush, but it's time that we spilled the beans. Breed? Uh, Jake is not your ordinary or... man. Uh, shivers guaca quezo the shivers, oddly enough. Uh, mm. and Nakara's been beating enormous guactopuses with his maze. Uh, we're really, uh, mm. I'm done. What's wrong with you? Harris, Harris, we talked about this. You don't call them guactopuses. They are Mexican women. <laughs> no! Wow. David, what is wrong with you right now? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, well, I'm incredibly tired. I haven't opened oh, hey. a beer yet. That's what I'm missing. And also, uh, the depression. There's that. Like the economic depression or the mental instability depression? Por que no los dos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You're absolutely right. Um, hey, everybody who comes in here who types exclamation point uptime, guess what? You don't have to do that anymore. Thanks, Twitch. It's right there. Excellent. Yeah. See There's it? an uptime thing right in the thing. Yeah, look at wow. that. Wow, that's impressive. Hi, everybody. Get out of here, fast cart. Get out. Get out of here. Listen. <laughs> Listen. You people are just as bad as the people who come in here and ask what time. Uh oh, you just said you people. Oh, we're in oh. deep shit now. <laughs> no, that's, what we, that's what our audience is called. So you know, you know how you know how like PewDiePie has the the bros and like like the like the the twihards, the believers. Uh, our our audience is called you people. I thought they were called the Relanians. <laughs> Very Star Trek-ish name. Are we? <laughs> yeah, are we? Are we a sovereign nation? Apparently, Is relay a planet. <laughs> Relites. Kind of, kind of. That's our logo as a planet. Uh, it's on the page. I don't know. Like, I'm just look. I'm looking at it. It's on the page. It's just to the. Well, I don't know. Can everybody see it ex other than us? I, That's a question. I'm not, I'm not in mod view. Well, well, yeah, it's right it's, below the follow and it's just right there. there. Yeah. Did I just fly to everybody? I mean, that's fine. What? David's playing Animal Crossing. I'm not. I, I don't see it, but I'm willing to pretend I do. I, I'm actually is, not. Is Marius, why are you singing Diggy Diggy Hole? Are you a dwarf and you're digging a hole? Diggy it's, diggy hole? It's going in the book. The book of grudges. I like, I like Folstan's comment there. That was pretty good. <clears throat> uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually playing uh, the Dark Souls of uh, mountain biking games. Okay. Trials. 
No, Did you... no. Uh, it's called... Trials is pretty brutal. <laughs> it's called Lonely Mountains Downhill. Uh, it is the Dark Souls of of, uh, of downhill. Trials game. Of downhill sounds like a country and western song. What? <laughs> sounds like a country and western song. Yeah, David, it, it kind of does. David, have you have you received a uh, fire emblem? No. Why I haven't you asked me about it? Well, so I've put it on my list for Amazon. I'm going to order oh. it. Oh. The the problem yeah. with the problem it's with great. downloading the problem with downloading stuff for the Switch is like I've got three switches in the house, so if I download it, nobody else, can no play. one else can play it. If I'm playing anything, so I'm trying yeah. to get games on cartridges as much as possible, so that like yeah. someone else can play. While yeah, isn't that a really stupid way of doing something? It's oh, Nintendo. absolutely, it is. It's Nintendo, but then again, actually, no. To be fair, Steam does the exact same thing. Cast cannot yeah. use anything in my Steam library if I'm playing anything on steam well Man, that is really why can't they be smart enough to realize that you're coming from the same ip <laughs> and just be like oh as long as it's not a multi right? game, you're fine is that hard is that a different don't thing? Kill no uh if it is what? then i understand <clears throat> but I, if it's not then what the heck you know what's a difficult thing what? Why, why don't you just put Steam in offline mode and play the same game at the same time? Can well, you we do, do that? Yeah, you, you yeah. can. Okay. If you start it... I've never done it before. Or or what else you can do is you can start... Like, we start the game on Cass's computer, then Alt-Tab, and disconnect her from the internet, and then she can play while I'm playing. Uh, but, um, like, it's a stupid workaround to have to do. Um, just yeah. let me play the damn... Like, Yeah, if you're on the same IP... You're signed in. You've done all the hooks and things and stuff. Like, but but not right? even. It's I have a license for that game. I have one license for oh. that game that I Whoa. own. Back in the days of of discs, and I know what you're gonna say, Shiver, but it, that's the way it should be. It should be that I've got a license for that game that I own that I can in es essentially loan out to a friend using my family account. Yeah. That's the way it should be. You it's I think we'll my get license, there. it's my license to do with what I will. Um I think we're getting there we'll too. Get, I think uh, we'll get there. Cuz they've not they've done some to do so, as you will. It so, should be. So it should be. I, I think I think what we're trying to say here is that Steam and Nintendo should stop shitting the goddamn. Yeah. It's yeah. not it's not the companies. It's not them that do it, though. It's yeah, it the is. people who make the games. Yeah, the pubbies. Yeah, probably publishers and developers don't want. Well, they want you to buy as many copies as yeah. possible. So there when, you go. when you launch a game, you automatically uh, agree to their license agreement. So it's <laughs> like they can kind of write those rules. <laughs> However, be like if you, it'd be like if you got in your car and like Mazda owned your children. Uh, like, one, what happened? Yeah. Full, full, <laughs> well, full, full of Stan, full of Stan has a good point. Just buy your games on GOG. Honestly, as much as possible, I do. Good point. Yes, I do. GOG is wonderful. Um, GOG is great. There's a lot of things uh, they don't God. have. Also, Bryce Serena, uh, I'm not giving them money to use their software. I'm giving them money to buy a copy of their software buy a yeah. copy it's not a like it, the uh, different laws for different places you're not even doing that legally yeah i am no you're not you're legally buying a license to be able to play the game that can be rescinded at any moment yeah for uh, no reason no yeah. it can't yes that it's been it's been the case since D video games D depends on where you are in europe i think you might have a bigger problem with that but and in canada so, but the, the gray area is do the terms of service outweigh your consumer rights, and that's never been tested yet. Um, it's actually been tested in Canada. We we have jurisprudence that says that um, if terms of service include things that you would not be reasonably reasonably expected to assume when purchasing something, uh, they are not valid. 
Right, so they yeah, have to test then. that in court. It has you to be tested. A, you, but... need a, you need a you need a precedent on top of that law. That's it. Relay will sue everyone. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Easy. He's got some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Oh my god. Okay, this plan went off the rails uh, really fast. Yeah. Who says um, what? We're talking about video games. Yeah. Steam. Anyway, the uh, the the tool that um, that helps me a little bit, but not really. Uh, you know, you have like this massive backlog of video games. Yeah. And you don't oh really yeah, know they... which one to play. Uh... Yeah, oh. Steam launched their like um, play next thing. Yeah. Except, do you know what's on my play next list? <laughs> Smite. <What is> <laughs> uh. Space Hulk Deathwing. Okay, Rust. Lord. Uh, yeah. I'm waiting for something good. <laughs> uh, I've got... Well, I, I do have some good things. There's uh, KOTOR 2, uh, Bioshock Ooh. Remastered. Mine is Tomb Raider 2013 and Destiny 2. Yeah. That's better. Where is this play next thing? I've definitely played uh, You have to update your Steam to, to see it. You have to force an update, and then it's in your library. Yeah. Well, consi your considering, library. considering everything I've done with my computer lately has broken it, and it's <laughs> continued, to oh, continued to break it worse and worse every time I do oh, something, no. um, I'm, uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, let's talk Star Citizen. Sure, there's stuff to talk about. There is stuff there is. to talk about. Um, there's Things all and stuff. stuff. Um, um, the first thing was probably the, the big shiny thing that everybody's pretty hyped about. There was a big shiny thing? The, 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 the trailer for the... The, the Invictus thing. event. It was awesome. F8s it's... zooming around. The red F8s. That's cool. I want a red F8. Yeah. I don't really want a red F8. Why not? I want I don't, I don't the ability want an F8. to have an F8 and paint it. Yeah, I, but I don't even want an F8. It's another fighter. Oh, the, the F8 is my favorite fighter. It looks so It's cool. very nice. Like freaking Batmobile. There was dude. this dark F8 that came out, and within the first 10 minutes, it shot John Connor. <laughs> Uh, in, the, in my brain, in my brain, as soon as Shiver, as Shiver started talking, I'm like, "Oh, he's going somewhere, somewhere with this." <laughs> uh, go. Where's this one going? The F8 Always. is uh, the F8 is um, is simultaneously the Normandy and the Tumbler from the Nolan Batman movies. Also, yes, CIG finally. Thank you for understanding what clear coat is. Yeah. It's been a thing on vehicles for a very long time. <laughs> yes. Uh, I really well, I'm, like glad they actually, I'm glad they actually... Point. I'm glad they actually explained why... It took them so long? Why why things happened that way. Yes. Like, basically, we kept bolting on new stuff to the shader we've been using for, like, eight years. And then we're like, yeah, we need a new shader. <laughs> <laughs> Look at uh, see, I can't wait for this. I can't wait for ships to have custom color schemes. Even if you have to follow a certain template, I yeah. don't care. Oh, That's I'm totally fine. fine with that. Just let me paint it. it. It'll be absolutely fine. Well, they said that they're gonna have a. a uh, they said that they're gonna have like something that sounds like it's akin to a design post later next week, explaining what you'll be it able to do and when does sound much like a design it's, post. Doesn't it sound like a design post? Mm -hmm. It does sound like it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Aren't oh, I, that only that only took you about 3 years, David? I know. <laughs> I've only been asking for one longer than oh, oh, yeah, just look at that. Look at that. It just looks like a real freaking car at that point. Yeah. Yeah, it looks I really like the the wear and tear too in that shader. Yep. The wear and tear is real good. The clear coat is real good. Iridescent paint is real good. Well, like, the clear coat is something that's existed in car racing games 
for like a decade uh, now. Since, yeah. And it's why car racing games uh, look so good. I would say since the Forza games, mm -hmm. pretty much. So then and, finally, we're on, like, it is nice. for, we're on like Forza like 66 now. So something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, but would you say two... that they're on track to look as good as Forza? Yeah. Uh, unless you're talking about Forza Horizon, which has no sex. It's an open world racing game. Uh, also, in my opinion, one of the best racing games out there. Yes, it's very it is good. quite good. It was only as uh... you said that it dawned on me. <laughs> Shiver! Holy crap. Uh, you're on um... form today. Uh, all right. I, I don't like regular ports, I like I like Horizon better. Uh okay, what else? This is nice. I don't uh, like to pause or I have to ask for consent. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I don't know if this Hey, does anybody know or... here here know how to get uh, Apex to stop crashing? Because that would be lovely. Uh, I'll play a different <laughs> game. I know, but I uh, want to play Apex. All of all of your games. Are, I, no, I there it's only Apex. Well, it was Star Citizen a few weeks ago. Oh, but yeah, that was a different. That was a that was a different problem. That was um, I was having uh, I was having something to do with storage um, problem. Now, when you say crashing, are you getting the game logic error? I got that once, and then the other times are all all graphics crashes. Oh, weird. I don't know. It's probably just a driver thing. I'll try like 17 different drivers and see if I can figure out how to get it to run. <laughs> hey, look, it's lighting. Oh, it's so pretty. Lighting is the new thing for yes. gaming for like the next this five year. years. <laughs> I'm cool with it. I've been saying it for a long time. I mean, I'd like the thing uh, for, for video games to be continue being like gameplay, but Lighting is pretty cool too. Gameplay will always be important. We're saying the next leap in technology is lighting. Yeah. Yeah. And gameplay I was, I was... gameplay is something that you can come up with. And the only reason why people don't come up with different things is because they're lazy. Can I tell you yep. about a game that I want to, to make? I had this idea oh. for a game. Uh, I'm going to ignore Shiver because I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, I had this idea mm -hmm. for a game, and it's called Run, Bear, Run. And you're a bear. And you're running down a mountain or through a forest. And you're running. Uh, and it starts, and you're running from, like, bees. And mm -hmm. if you, like hit a rock or something you fall and you die if you hit a tree you fall and you die uh but you just run as much as you can and you're a bear um and then eventually as you get further into further levels there are like hunters and they're trying to shoot you because you're a bear and and you have to run away from the hunters and then eventually there's hunters in a helicopter with a tranquilizer gatling gun and they're trying to shoot you and you're running because you're a bear and uh that was my game idea it actually sounds like a, a lot of games i've played <laughs> yeah, Ape Out is like that, but instead of a bear, it's a gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> but you're a bear. Well, uh, it sounds like you have a solid uh, lead on a game. Um, I expect it in six to, tw six to 12 weeks. Go call up uh, Revolver. <laughs> They'll make it. They would. And then, then you could show up on their, uh, on their stream in a bear suit. <laughs> I would 100% do that. Hell, Elon. By the hey, way, what else we got? Said uh, this several times. You could change it from a bear to the leader of China. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and call it what? Run, commie, run. Run, bear, run. No, you can leave it as run, bear, run. <clears throat> oh, okay. If I get abducted halfway through this stream, you know what's happened. <laughs> Yeah, you're close enough. You got a straight to protect you, right? Or it's actually a C. Sorry, my bad. Uh, <laughs> Not much. 
so lighting is so, pretty as always. I was playing uh I was playing Star Citizen the other day and I did not realize that the cargo drop off missions on random rooftops in the middle of cities was in the game yet. Totally mm -hmm. just I'm just a dummy and I didn't realize. Yeah. I okay. um <clears throat> Well, okay, so I'm going to I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is going to work, but um this one was included with sound. Okay. So You've I'm been gonna... able to play sound before. What is yeah, lighting? It's, been a while, it's so... more than just placing many lights around to brighten up the scene. Whatever. We also is. want to they will it's make working. objects and characters look good. Um for example, this scene right here, it's it's clearly too yeah, dark. Yeah. The background is too dark. You can't see me very well. So for an interview situation, this uh, this won't do. So how would I fix this? Um, first of all, I turn on this light. Uh, this adds a little bit of warmth, a little bit of character on me specifically. Um, the background's still too dark, but we can take care of that later. Uh, I think the next step is I would add some fill lights. So now I'm a little bit better lit. Um, I've got this uh, this mag light here. I could probably turn that on. You know, this is it's too much light now for me. It's it's blowing out Jake, things. That's, that's and now for the background, I think. Uh, can harness the power of uh, natural lighting for this one and there we go that's much better so lighting pretty cool what is lighting it's more than just placing many lights around to my favorite part of that clip did was how they go ahead you literally posted a video to explain how light works really yep of course i mean do you know how light works magic <laughs> uh i hit the, the thing and it goes Poo. uh i like that they were talking about prisons this week and how uh players have broken the prisons already <laughs> and are getting out in like three minutes yeah yeah they're like yeah we're gonna fix that whoops <clears throat> but uh but yeah, um, I mean, the players seem pretty impressed with the prisons, and they seem very happy with how it turned out, so I think, I think that was a really big win. And hey, yeah. gameplay loop! Blow through Eventually, something up, we'll out of prison, get out of prison in three minutes, go back, blow the person up because it's taken them longer than three minutes to get their new ship, <laughs> go back to prison, repeat, <laughs> yeah, yeah. anti-trolley measure has failed. Although the problem is you get out in three minutes and then you have to have someone come pick you up. Fair. Yeah. So <laughs> it's gonna take you longer than three minutes. Yeah. Especially given quantum travel times. Yeah. Um, uh, right. If if you've got a quantum there, then uh round trip's gonna take about thirteen days. I did notice <laughs> when I was arriving at uh, Art Corp today. Um, when I was arriving at Area 18, that they now bring you down like right on top of the spaceport and like only 20 kilometers away, so it takes like 30 seconds to land. Unless you're me flying my Carrick for the first time, I kind of bounced off the walls a few times and I was landing because there isn't a lot of yeah. extra room. David, have you even played since they put the stations in orbit? Have you played the game? Which station's in orbit? The <laughs> ones that you can quantum to. Yes, yes, I've played since off. then. Okay. <clears throat> and they've the, cut the, down that time significantly. They, they've cut down time from, uh, from like, outer orbit to landfall. You ground him. They haven't cut down the time from ground back out to Atmo and then from planet to another planet. They shouldn't cut down the time from one planet to another planet. That and is they, an immense amount of distance. And they didn't cut down. Uh, they did cut down the time from ground to orbit. Yes, they did. You can. Uh, I think it's like a on Microtech. It's like eleven kilometers up. You can activate quantum oh, when okay. you're still in so atmosphere. It'll take you, it'll take you about a minute. And so it used to be like a, it used to be like a hundred kilometers. <laughs> that's that's still about you know two days in a reclaimer, but it's still better. 
I want you to tr- I want you to time it in your reclaimer. I should. And you can I report back next again. week. Uh, I want, so I workout want this clothes. Dude purple track suit. I want it. The bluish purplish suit. I want it. I want the red and white and gray and other colors one. Uh, I'd like to, to wear the, uh, the, the tight purple uh, spandexy bathing suit thing. I think I'd look good in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cash should buy, buy you one. <clears throat> I agree. <laughs> I think she's the only one who would have permission to buy you one. <laughs> I thought this woman did not have a hand for a second for some reason. I'm not sure why. Like the way the, the camera cut. This is a pretty cool character design. I like the like crazy eye goggle things. I don't like that they're at different levels. I'm sure he doesn't either. He's probably going back to the manufacturer like, what the hell? <laughs> what did I get? Well, because <clears throat> so that'll just appear on the... This, <laughs> that'll just appear on the side of here, and this will appear down here. But it's it's on the your eye eye eye. Honestly, the one for the right eye kind of looks like a stock ticker. It's just like in your yeah. bottom, like in the corner of your vision. <laughs> oh man! I, d- I'm not. I have to say, I, I don't think I would enjoy a, having a metal collar, though. You know, I was just about to ask if people are going to do that in the future, and then I was like, no, people would already do that right now, like bolt bolt something to the side of their face they that i would uh, like if it was if it was something that was um what am i trying to say um enticing enough yeah totally people do anything <laughs> there really isn't a whole lot of limit to that either <laughs> yeah <laughs> Scavian, we just expect you to show up about an hour into the podcast every day. Cool. <laughs> You're only we half an hour in. Get later, Welcome to Scavian. It's like an hour and a half later than it used to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he still manages to. What's know. going on, dude? You know what? You know what? I think it's entirely. I think it's entirely. Uh tactical he waits until all of our bs is out of the way and then he's ah, like i'm gonna go watch yeah. the show now i'm gonna i'm gonna jump in when they actually start talking about the video game <laughs> ha we should surprise them it. so guys uh oh god uh, uh no, i have a screwdriver it. you do have a screwdriver it's for glasses there is yeah change the category oh What's the category yes. as? Special it's special events. events. Special events. Oh, I forgot about that. We're a special event, dude. <laughs> we, we are, are very we are very special. Yes. We're super <laughs> special. Oh god, how do I even do that? Dashboard. All right, so so what I want to know is who browses the special events uh, <laughs> category? When there's nothing going on, he's like, "Oh, am I missing something right now? Let me go. Let me go check out the special events category on Twitch. Check it out. Oh my! Going on. And then the only stream in there is going to be us. All right, who <laughs> that's the dang security code? Who's signing into Twitch right now? Me. Oh my god! It's not even signed in. Hold on. What are we going to do with this guy? Hold on. Did did we not go through this at the beginning? All right. All right. We ready for the code? I'm waiting for it to tick down. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You got to be ready. I'm ready. I'm not going to tell it to you people. I'm <laughs> typing it. There you go. Enjoy. Uh, okay. Enjoy. Oh. Uh. So, what do you guys think about these hangers? I like them. I'm very tired of the ones we have because they're on every planet. <laughs> you know what made me sad, though? 
I actually mm. thought the Microtech hangers were on purpose and that like everything was super nice and shiny and then you'd like go in the underground and it would be super yeah. dank and dirty. And they're like, no, we just didn't have the hangers done. They weren't done yet. <laughs> I find it amazing <laughs> that they can uh, just swap them out like that. Yeah, well, it gives you a very good idea that they are standardized sizes. <laughs> yeah. That's just nice. straight swap. All right. I did I, it. I do like the 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 square opening doors quite a bit. Where it's uh, it's not just like like two pieces, it's four pieces. Uh Niscavian, they will not sell the, the F8. Also, if you want to ask a question, that is why we have questions. But I figured I'd humor you this one time. They're Are they gonna, gonna let us fly it. the F8? That'd be nice. Yes. They might let us fly it during the free fly here that's coming up next week yeah that would be cool and then then everyone would be like i want to buy it damn it <laughs> yep okay all right oh, all right you think the character type fit try fitting an 890 in there dude uh, oh man i i was i was bouncing off the walls of the carrick it was brutal um but that was the first time i'd landed it so it was an adventure. Hey, you know what actually is working quite well in Star Citizen right now? Mm. What's that? Um, the uh, persistence for your character. Yes, it is. Um, I, the game crashed on me a couple times. Um, not the same crashes as Apex. They were special Star Citizen crashes <laughs> um, <laughs> that everyone has all the time. Um, but, uh, every time I came back into the game, I was always exactly where I was before and my ship was fine. And I was like, Hey, that's a big improvement over how nice. it used to be. <laughs> used to be every time you crashed, it was like a total disaster because <laughs> now your ship's gone and your cargo's gone and you're like a million miles from nowhere. Yeah. I've got this problem where like my friends group, like my, my, like, Ottawa friends group. Um, all I keep telling you, Eris, standing outside someone's house and pretending to watch TV with them doesn't make them your friend. Yeah, it does. Right now, that's the only way I can hang out with them. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's <a fair> point. <laughs> that is true. Oh, I stand outside boy. and we hang out on the phone watching something. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. Uh, anyway, go ahead. Finish your thought there. They are all incredibly pessimistic about video games. About oh, like all the, all video game? games. About everything. Uh, like oh yeah, no, like, it's it's been a problem in general. It, it is, Listen. but it's like everything that gets shown, it's like that's gonna be shit. That's never coming out. Yeah, Star Citizen dude, isn't a game. Dude, me and you dealt with this last week. I like these I know. people. Uh, f like Fallout seventy six has updated. Are you itself just trying completely. to protect yourself from the possibility that a game might be bad? I don't know. I, I like, think I think I think that's the idea. Yeah, but like, like, but what if it's not, good? Why not? Why, why not give it a chance? And then yeah. when a game when a game like uh, No Man's Sky or Fallout seventy six or Anthem eventually completely Maybe. or or follow or fallout 14 completely updates oh, itself wait wait, wait. fallout 14 what, uh final fantasy 14 final fantasy 14 <laughs> i was like wait is there a new follow game i didn't know about yeah fallout uh, 14 guys haven't you heard oh my god uh but like when they when they completely reinvent themselves why not give it a shot Oh why yeah, not, totally. Why not? I mean, why uh, not have absolutely. some hope? As long as they're like, "Hey, we're because gonna we're gonna sell our game to you for nothing, and please play it." I'm I'm like, yeah, as sure, a general okay. rule of thumb, the price of games have increased and the quality has decreased over the years. I disagree. I a hundred percent disagree. I recently played through all of Baldur's Gate one and two, which were ass, complete and utter ass, yeah. nigh unplayable. <laughs> Yeah. Nigh freaking unplayable. It's now I'm place thing. 
It, it is. It's a time and place thing. Now I'm playing through Neverwinter Nights, which is also ass. Complete yeah. and utter ass. Games were bad, guys. We remember them with this <laughs> fond... Yeah. Like, look, fi fi oh, fi Final Fantasy VII is a bad game. It's fine. It, 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 I, I played it, the original, like, a couple years ago. And it's, it's fine. It's good, but it's not, like... like it's not the greatest thing ever. Yeah. Like, like these games... We remember them fondly because we were different people then, and we had less cares, and we had less considerations, and we just loved whatever was put in front oh, of I'm us. Preach! Games are the same. And yes, some companies Games are have both gone... good and bad, as they have always been. And, and now they're good and bad in one thing because you've got a game that's a great game, but it's shat on by micro microtransactions. Or you've got a game that's just not great, but it's got good this. Games are so huge now. Take Anthem. Anthem is a bad game that has... Anthem has about 20% of it that is good. But the the controls of Anthem, the the yep. the feeling of flying it's that mech and Anthem is, is the best Iron Man mechanics ever made. Period. It feels phenomenal. It's the best, one of the best controlling video games I've ever played. But the guns are real bad. But they are. <laughs> but the that's because are games so are so huge. Like, why is everyone like, oh, this game has to be perfect, and it's not perfect. It's shit. Yep. There's so much. Look at no, I agree. They're not, I agree. Uh, There's as a people general who rule of thumb. There are there are huge games that are released, and they're the big release of the springtime, the summertime, or whatever. But they're not as common as they used to be. It's taking longer to Jedi make them. Knight. Look at Jedi Knight Two, uh, Jedi Outcast. That was massive game. Mm -hmm. That was a massive game. It's tiny and that now. was all fucking old. No, it's not. It is not at all. Uh, compare it with the games that came after it. They were far smaller. They looked better, but they were far, far smaller. Have you Fact. played Jedi Fallen Order? I have not, because that looks like That's it good. would make me want to punch my monitor. Yeah, that looks nice, though. I don't know how big it is, though. It's very big. It's huge. There's, it has massive open, <clears throat> like, like Metroid-y kind of style levels where, like, there's certain sections that are unlocked hmm. to you, and like you go around, and it's huge. Like, um, I you know what I would planets and open new areas that you haven't been before. It's really good. I wish they could solve the current length of game development for a like AAA title. It's gotten yeah. longer, and yeah. it's gotten longer by like fifty percent. Yep, and it's only going to get longer. Uh. To, to, well, There's to... some tech that has been recently announced that might change that oh, quite a I bit. Don't know. There's still going to be a ton of dev time going into graphics. It's sure, time... but then, but then the optimization time is eliminated. Some of it. You're still going to have to optimize a stuff for the ton CPU. of it. Yeah, but it, but those focus on different time periods if we've watched star citizen if you've learned anything from star citizen 90 percent of it is just getting all the assets to work yep. asset creation is huge artist creation is huge and and with more and better art games are taking longer to do the art for but what if the tools made it so you can make that art a whole lot faster and that would be great. Truth, it would be yeah. great, but that's that's supposed to have been happening for the last five years. Well, and that's what Star it's Citizen just, has been doing. Star Citizen has it, been it has, creating it has tools. Happened, it has happened, but the fidelity and, and size of games has increased on a much more exponential Drink, level. Fidelity. Um uh they've it, it it's increased so the the tools <laughs> and the speed of those tools has gotten better and faster like immensely over the years like these tools are, are state-of-the-art unbelievable can do all sorts of things <laughs> the problem is that the games themselves are becoming bigger more beautiful and more complex than they have ever been at a faster rate yeah, the actually, there's a, a good example of that is actually, um, and I don't know how they managed to do them as fast as they do since they they're mostly good. But 
Um, a lot of the Assassin's Creed games are enormous. And actually, there was one review I read for one of them. I think it was Odyssey, Odyssey. where they're like, "It's too." It, they're like, "It's too long." It is. <laughs> I I stopped playing Odyssey because it was too big of a game. I think it is the biggest game I've ever played. It is all of Greece. It's it's everything. And it's one of the things insane. that excites me most about Valhalla is they've said we're making it smaller than Odyssey. It is going um, to be a tighter experience because Odyssey was too and that's, big. And that's honestly like mm -hmm. what I what I hope that a lot of these like big single player games start to do is instead of and, and uh CD Project has said that this was kind of their philosophy with uh Cyberpunk a little bit is instead of making the game larger, they're making it <clears throat> denser. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. there's not as much art that needs to be made because there's like it's all the same motif. It's like a, a city block. Those it's going to use a lot of the same assets in different ways and in different areas. So they can they can kind of cheat the system a little bit, but also um, with that design philosophy in mind, they're not just making it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it becomes Odyssey. Um, they um, CD Projekt actually said that the physical size of the map of um, of Night City is smaller than The Witcher mm -hmm. Three. Yeah, but um, a much more floor area because much they have more the towers, the verticality yeah. and yeah. such. Yeah. Um, you know, what other other game is doing the verticality thing is uh, just had to pipe up because I remembered Baldur's Gate Three. Yes. yes. Um, they're doing a lot of uh, a lot of vert verticality in the maps. Oh, I'm really excited cool. for Larian, Larian Studios, top tier developer right now. Yep, top amazing. Tier. Top tier. They're making um, good stuff. Just wanted to do a quick comparison to give you like some idea. Um, and actually, if anybody has never used this website, uh, there's a website called How Long to Beat, which gives you an idea of how long things take to to complete. Yeah. Um, uh, Odyssey is fully twice the length of Black Flag. Yeah. It is actually it's actually more than twice the length of Black Flag. It's honestly why I <laughs> like. Um, Holy crap! <laughs> it's honestly why I liked Origins more than I liked Odyssey. Yep, One same. because Bayek is the best protagonist of any of those. Games. I'll be right back. He's better anyway. than Ezio. He's better than Edward. There, he's better. Um, two, I feel like it was a much more tightly designed experience mm -hmm. than um, than Odyssey was. It's all over the map, though, because like, we've had we've had bad experiences of that in the past when developers have kind of um, given up. <laughs> yeah. Um, the good example of that was Dragon Age. I know it's a while, a while ago, but Dragon Age Origins to Dragon Age Two, where they went from like a ninety-hour game to a twenty-eight-hour game. Yeah. And uh, you know, it, it's. It's something people have to keep asking for, right? It, uh, if they want like a long game, then yeah. they need to ask for it because they're so, so, not necessarily going to make it. Um, I've basically, if if a game is about five to six dollars an hour for an experience, I feel like that is like a hot, a very high, uh, price to value ratio for me. Um, like if I pay ten dollars, I expect that to be about three or four hours, like a very like very tight experience, um, to play. If I'm paying full price, um, I hope I would get at least twenty five to thirty five hours out of it. Oh yeah. Um. Why I haven't bought Doom Eternal yet? I wouldn't buy. I wouldn't buy a modern Doom game at full price. <laughs> honestly, they're good games. They're just not. Yeah. Something that I feel like I would. Have. Holy. What is going on, Olinka? Uh, in in how long to beat the website? Um, mm -hmm. Animal Crossing is sitting at two hundred and seven hours. Uh, I'm guessing that the, uh, Animal Crossing in like you can beat it in like probably six hours. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just. <laughs> I, I was just. I'm. All, I always look at the completionist category. People, people who spend the longest. Yeah. So. yeah. 
Um, because um, that's where I'm always to, at. To see credits in Animal Crossing, all you have to do is have KK visit your island. Yeah. I have a, actually have an interesting question. I think I know the answer for everybody, but I I have a question. Um, do you, each of you, do you prefer um, somewhat guided experiences or um more open more towards open world experiences? Uh, uh, I don't think I have a preference. Shiver depends on the game. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, RPG sure. RPGs. Oh, RPGs got to be open world. I like and... it linear RPG sometimes. I, I like uh, that's true. Smaller, that's true. I like smaller world, like smaller, like open. a like a Mass Effect shiver. Yeah, mm. like like large open, open spaces that can be explored, but they're still contained. Uh, yeah, I find like you get, the like Tomb Raider. I find you get better level design when it's not God a huge War. open world, but there are hubs like open hubs and then yeah. you get the the well designed levels of the outworld that you get to explore that's what i yeah. i honestly prefer hey, is a mix all y'all um this summer uh probably <laughs> um please play horizon zero Dawn when it comes to pc please play that game oh it's yeah one of the best open world games ever made please go play it very good I will everything actually. about it. yeah, it is really really great, and they're uh it's it, it they're releasing it at full price, but they're including all of the DLC. Uh, awesome. Also, Sorry. the decima the the decima engine was breathtaking on a PS4 Pro. I cannot wait to on throw a my PC? PC hardware at it. <laughs> yeah, I can't totally. Wait, here's hoping they actually like took advantage. Does anyone have? Because I was like, running it at a 1080p 60, and it was beautiful. I does can anyone only have imagine like three or four thousand uh, dollars of like spare money that they can throw my way so I can buy a new PC? I uh, also no. need what the a new kind PC. Of PC so no. You're gonna build for three or four thousand dollars? Yeah, that's a like, really, really uh, nice one. That's like uh, <laughs> the best PC you in, can in, build. Excuse me, in Canada, that's about the price of a GPU. No, it's not. <laughs> I built I built Josh's computer with no GPU because I I had a spare 1070 Ti. I built that thing for twelve hundred US dollars, and it is absolutely the best computer that you can build besides that. The only thing I didn't a, do a twenty eighty Ti a full custom loop Jake in there. Jake a twenty eighty Ti. In Canada, oh is god, eighteen hundred dollars. Uh huh. That's you could build the rest of the PC for yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Three thousand is top of the line, dude. Well, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's what we're saying. <laughs> well, that does re that really leaves a. I I know we don't want to get into hardware <laughs> wars here, but that they're really leaving a lot of price room there for AMD if they can actually come up with something <laughs> useful. I, I would my love, God. I would love That's AMD expensive. to come up with something good because oh God, it's getting out of control. Freak off. Sixteen hundred dollars for one card, yeah. like it's yeah. just ridiculous. It, it does. It does look like we're gonna have to wait a bit longer for the um, the the seven nanometer cards though from from Team Green. That's fine. I think uh, I, I think they're just I think they're just waiting for AMD to make the first move. Yeah, <laughs> and they're, uh, they're going to be like boom. considering they released the server cards. Uh, okay, so grand. should we go to questions? <laughs> Twenty thousand dollars. We barely uh, talked about hey, stars. Hey, uh, Shiver, do you want a twenty thousand dollar server GPU? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Actually, wait. I'm gonna try and show something. Show the link I sent you. Yeah, I'm I would be so terrified. Give me a I second. would be so um, terrified of everything. I would put that in like a, I don't know, the most protected room that is imaginable. I can't hit also, you didn't... alt and click with a baby in my hands. This is this was this was ill advised. Link, don't you don't have grab a little crash can next to your uh, desk there? You can just put them right there. Yeah, I'll throw my baby in the trash. Of course, that's <laughs> temporarily. 
Actually, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hasn't your missus got red hair? Yeah. Oh. And haven't you got black hair? Yeah. And why has Link got blonde hair? Uh, it was reddish when he started growing. It's gonna change. It's gonna change. It will more. change. Did you? Pick I had a uh... baby at the hospital. <laughs> It's always possible. I had uh, I had extremely dark skin when I was born because my mom is uh, half Hispanic. It actually so. isn't possible because Link was never out of our hospital room. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. Look at uh, this thing. They have bolted on a big star thing. No, no, don't grab that. That's sharp. Like, it looks like a. It looks like they taped three crucibles together. <laughs> just with just with like duct tape. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. There, David. What? Yeah. Oh, not to Push it again. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Like they taped three. Uh. <laughs> Christian balls together. Yeah. Yeah. Star helix, face, <clears throat> fidget spinner. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, consolidated Outland. Uh, Honestly, you know what that looks like, Jake? Looks like a weird ass Keyblade. It does. It does. You're not wrong. It, it looks like wrong. a Keyblade. All you need, all you need, is for the for the middle part to, to keep going through the circle. Yeah. It needs to go through the circle so you have a place to hold it. Yep. yep. That's Keyblade. Looks like a Keyblade. Uh, so, sounds like. Sounds like we have a. Star Citizen Kingdom Hearts 4. <laughs> <laughs> you will I, I, never I, be able to convince me otherwise. It sounds like you have a uh, cosplay item for the next Citizen Con. Or, oh my god. <laughs> if, if I had a 3D printer, I would do it. Listen, people, oh, people listening to this right now, I will pay for all of the materials to make that space station into a keyblade if you can figure it out i will i will fund <laughs> this endeavor oh my uh david for some reason we keep changing names uh <laughs> you're so the only, you're the only one who stayed the same <laughs> Oh, I love this. Oh no! Look, I'm <laughs> I'm on top of things this week, okay, guys. Oh just, yeah, just leave me alone. This week's special from all the other this weeks. Is, this fidget spinner oh, is on brand. The baby this makes consolidated it special. Consolidated Outland fidget spinner. Doesn't he look old? I've offended him. He is yeah, an old man, dude. Yeah, yeah. You tell doesn't him. look old anymore. He's like, how old is he now, cool. Harris? Uh, just over seven months. Oh, it's all downhill from seven months. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. It's very true. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Uh, I hope someone asks some questions because I'm gonna go look. Uh, and if there are no mm, questions, couple. then. Oh, wow. We got a couple. Okay. Let's start with the questions. Are you guys ready for these? Of course. Sure. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, Fastcart asks, uh, I cut uh -huh. my own hair. Why won't you? My hair's not long enough yet. What hair? Uh, um, I, I stopped cutting my hair. Uh, because... As you, can, as you can see. Because I'm filthy and lazy, and uh, just don't care. Jake, I think I've that grown, when I... I've grown... I, I was telling them this before the the show today. I've grown, like, this bayonet that I can stab people with. Yeah, apparently. I, I think that actually... I, I was looking at that, at that hairstyle there, and I think, you, I think you're almost an anime character now. Yeah, no, th this, is, <laughs> this is literally what happens every time I wash it. Like, yeah. it looks fine after... It'll look fine in, like, six hours. But I washed my hair, and then it just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, next, uh, uh, Bryce Serena asks... Oh, hey, me. wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Public service announcement. 
you i'm talking to you out there are you washing your hair every day don't do it don't do it every other day at the most every three days is ideal yep you shouldn't wash your hair every day it's bad for you bad for you it'll dry out your hair it'll dry out your scalp it'll ruin your hair you'll go bald and oh, then and advice. then and then your brain will be infested <laughs> by <laughs> monkeys <laughs> no bryce arena don't wash your hair every day don't do it all right don't do it doesn't matter if you use conditioner you should bryce... use conditioner when you wash your hair that's you know, it. Jake, Jake, I just I just have to throw this out here, but I don't think people are gonna take hair advice from you right now, considering the <laughs> weapon you're growing. I am. I am. <laughs> Listen, I am growing a weapon, but it is healthy. Uh okay. Bri Bryce Serena asks, did any of you watch the newest Ghost of Tsushima gameplay? If not, Hell why haven't you? Yeah. Hell yeah, I did. It was awesome. Uh it is absolutely assassin's creed japan it is 1000 percent assassin's creed japan but that's okay this is this is the face that jake makes when he thinks of tsushima yeah yeah that one oh it, it was doing a better one uh, earlier but i mean that yeah. one's fine too um i like to call it spooky sushi mama instead um but uh yeah Looks yeah, good. Uh, mixed with a little Neo, mixed with a little Sekiro, because he's got that uh, that grappling hook thing he's got flinging around. Um, there it is. Yeah, There's looks Jake. Good. What's up, David? Uh, I'm calling you David now. Your dad is name. Lincoln. What? How long has Winston oh. Churchill been in your house, Eris? <laughs> Seven months. Lincoln you is ask? your dad. He is, he is a glowing baby. He, he is slightly radioactive a little bit. Yes, he is. He's, he's, he's like, literally could, the... I don't if know... If you were to split him, he would explode. I don't well, actually yeah. know how he <laughs> happened because he's literally the cutest baby. And I feel like this couldn't have come from this. No, that's we what happened. Feel the same, don't that's worry. That's what happened. Pretty people have ugly babies. There. Good to know. Um, okay. Uh, Bryce Serena also asks, what you have to you do think... a combo attack. One of, one of you has to be ugly, and that is David. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, what ship do you think they will offer at the end of Invictus Week? Uh, nothing. I don't think they need to offer anything. Aren't they doing <clears throat> really, really well on funding right now? Yeah, they don't really need I... to do anything. I think they're going to offer a new variant to the Aurora that has a torpedo on it that is the size of the Aurora. <laughs> yes. And that's its, only, that's its only weapon, and it's in test colors, and Eric, they don't mention that at all. Eric, but. have you seen the, the caustic dive animation where he pulls out one of his gas canisters and rides it uh, through the I sky? I have not. Into battle? <laughs> I imagine it would look something like that. Yeah, that's all right. I think they will offer the uh, sale of the album Invictus by the thrash metal, yes. the German thrash metal band Necronomicon. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I knew uh, that's where you were going the I second you started to say. Uh, Fastcurt <laughs> asks, it took the CIG devs a while to answer this. What are shaders? Uh, shaders are little tiny gremlins that live inside my computer that paint <laughs> all true. of the images it's black true. before they hit um, my eyes so that they look good. Uh, a sh uh, the, the most, the simplest way I can explain a shader is, uh, think if you know what a texture is, it's a way to manipulate that texture for it to look different, but it's the same base texture. Yeah. Cool. I like it. That's the, that's the simplest way I can explain it. They're people who throw cynical remarks <laughs> on anything you've ever said. <laughs> A shader. Oh, I love it. No. I love uh, it. Bryce yeah, they're like they're like filters. Exactly. Exactly. They're they're filters for that that was actually the word uh <laughs> I wanted 
I want it skewed. Uh, if if you think of it like an Instagram Bryce filter, Arena with the and real answer. The the picture the picture is um the the picture is the texture and then you put a filter over it to make it look different. That's that's what a shader is. Bryce Arena is, asks if they offer the F8 lightning for monies do you think cig will replace the lugatis rewards what do you think those rewards could be i don't uh, think they, they will offer the they probably for won't no but if they do i think they should offer them one limb from a cig employee fair i like yes, that and yes bryce Serena, <laughs> i know that it's a customizable pixel because but, yes I was trying. Problem, this person clearly didn't Nakara, understand. The uh, problem with that I, Nakara well, is then the F8 well, can cost a... an arm and a leg. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, no, I don't. I don't think the, the F8 fast leg car will only go has on two of them, and he doesn't use them. Uh, the the follow up oh. question is: Do you think that it should go on sale? No. 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 Look out! There's a baby on the floor. Uh, oh, hey! Get out of here, Link. You're free. Yeah, put him on the floor. Oh my god, I didn't say. <laughs> You're free, Link. Run. I, I don't is... think he's. I don't think he's learned the run skill yet. <laughs> uh, I just want. I, I just want. No, to, he looks. To... Look, he's making a run for it. Look at him. Oh yeah, he tries to run. He's he was crawling. Did you not see him get from the center of the floor to the door? Yes. He's, he's going, dude. You he got, is. got the gotta... cats in there and everything now. You need to set up one of those electric fence things they do for dogs. So, so Mac and Cass were just upstairs <laughs> doing Ring Fit. Do you guys know how much Ring Fit costs right now? Two thousand yeah. dollars. No, I told Cass this. I was, oh, I'm desperate for Ring Fit Adventure, dude. I need it. Inject it into my bloodstream, dude. Just let, let, let it. Become it's like four hundred dollars. I am not spending more than my Switch. To play Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, yeah. Okay. We should sell our Ring sell Fit. It to Jake. Jake, will you buy? No. I'll he... buy it. For how much? I'll Ask buy it Jake for eighty money. U.S. dollars. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's used, dude. The value has gone down. I'm giving what you paid for it. It's only gone down if it's not in it's demand. In which case, it's gone up. Oh. <laughs> okay. Take the baby. There aren't any used ones anywhere. You can't <laughs> find them. Uh, all right, all right. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. what? Oh, that was super no cute. No longer preferred child wants attention. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> Hit that right in the nose, there, Shiver. Bryce Arena asks: Anyone excited to play The Last of Us Two? Uh, yeah. I am. So, so here's the, the, the thing that I'm excited about for, for, game. for Last of Us 2, for Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, I'm excited for when they hit PC. I really okay. hope both The Last of Us and The Last of Us 2 someday go to PC. If uh, I mean, technically they already are by means of fancy footworking. Um <laughs> Because you can get PlayStation Theoretically. Now. <laughs> no, because you can you can subscribe to PlayStation Now right now and play it on your PC right yeah. now. Well, and play the first one. The second yeah. one will take two to four years to be on there. There, it, that's can, actually questionable. Also, that's questionable because God of War is already on there. Oh, is Sony, it? Yeah, yeah, Sony has spun has up been Sony for Game like a year Studios, and, a half. and it seems like Sony is finally taking pc somewhat seriously and might be putting things on pc a little faster than they did before uh I, what, that was a, the reason i've never subscribed to it first of all it's really expensive second of all um it's a month canadian way too much yeah and um especially given the price of uh the xbox one um and uh the second one was for a long time the only games they had on there were like five to ten years old like it's gotten better. Yeah, it's it's better than it was. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, do you need a? Do you need like a? Do you need a Dual Shock to play? Uh, like a PS4 controller? Good I don't think so. Good question. I think you can use any know. Bluetooth controller, but I'm not 100 sure. Okay. 
Uh, Fastcart um, asks, is light a wave or a particle? Neither. Light is a chicken. It's a wavy particle. Light is a chicken. Light uh, sometimes light sometimes behaves as a particle and sometimes as a wave. That's why physicists cry every night when they go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gavian, I think I think like you say this, but I'm pretty sure SOE doesn't exist anymore. Oh really? I remember right. Sony Online Entertainment. Let's look it up. Hey Griffin RPG. Uh, Fastcard asks, since CIG showed us how light works, would you help me produce a video on how dark works? Yeah, it's it's called Daybreak now. Yeah, they're called Daybreak. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how dark works, or how magnets work, or how babies work. Uh, That's unfortunate. So. Yeah. Technically <laughs> speaking, isn't darkness the default setting, but light which can come from a source changes a default setting because space is pretty dark um uh until you darkness, turn the lights on darkness which is why once, we should go to the sun at night uh darkness once it uh it it becomes part of your heart and completely takes it over uh you lose your heart and it becomes what is known as a heartless and then uh the shell of of what is left behind after your heart ejects itself from your body is called a nobody. And uh, only if you defeat both of the heartless and the nobody at the same time, could you then possibly be restored uh, to becoming a whole person. But sometimes if you have a strong enough will, you can still maintain your sentience uh, as either a heartless or a nobody. Um, but you you can't feel things like emotions, or if you're a heartless, you uh, you're actually so overcome by emotions that uh, that it's it's actually very overwhelming, and you kind of go crazy. Yeah. Yes. Kingdom, uh, and that's a new game. With the power of darkness. So the next question is from Fastcart. Since CIG showed us how light works, no, would you help uh, help me? Oh, oh, okay. That's what Jake was answering. Oh, I see. Ah, that makes more sense now. Okay, yeah. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Um. Also, I can I can also do this. What? <laughs> That's how dark works. Uh, Fastcard also <laughs> oh, asks. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. I'm actually still here. See. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, thoughts, on what, looks like is like a... thoughts on what CIG is trying to hint at by showing the F8 in the new video Warbond sale during Invictus nope just that nope. Uh, it's cool and maybe we'll be able to fly it or see it being flown uh, there's also going to be a showcase of some of the <clears throat> uh, work in progress models on, in mm -hmm. uh, the special event area on area 18 we've already uh, seen uh, some 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 leakage of the Crusader Industries Mercury Star Runner. Who I have is a thick with two C's. I have uh, I have a theory. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed that the uh, area they're putting it into in an area eighteen is is called the convention center. Yeah, and I'm wondering if they might be doing something in there for CitizenCon. Yep. Mm, something. Not necessarily like. Citizen Con, but I think there might be something in there. Yeah, I think that that might. I think they're like testing the location six months ahead of time. <laughs> yep. There will probably be one or that's two others things. Extremely there smart if that's the case. In the lead up, yeah. Uh, Nescavian yeah. asks, "How excited is everyone for uh, uh, T.O.W. Uh, Theaters of War, uh, or of do war. you or do you not care Very. as much for session based I gameplay? No, I heck yeah, play give me all those sessions." I want, me. I want a version of Star Citizen that can jump in, play for 20 minutes, and be done. That's I'm more. I, I am more excited for Theodore's War than I am for Star Citizen. <laughs> really? <laughs> My life. Uh, look, he, look, he doesn't have enough time anymore to play. Guys, I backed. That... I backed listen, Star listen. Citizen. Jake, Jake, do you know who I was <laughs> when I backed Star Citizen? Oh, I, I'm aware. I'm I was. Aware. I have known you a very long time. 
Yeah, I was I was young. I just had my first government job. I don't even think I had a girlfriend. I didn't have any kids. I had nothing but time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fast the, forward the, eight years. David. David. Yeah. Uh, what I was going to say was, uh, by the time Star Citizen releases, both your kids will have grown and gone off to college. So you'll very have likely more time. <laughs> very likely. And I might be more interested in it then, but still got a <laughs> Got a ways to wait. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, I'm I'm excited for Theaters of War. Uh, I'm I'm hoping that they make a lot of uh, they use it to make some changes to balance in the Persistent Universe. It's going to allow them to iterate on balance changes a lot more quickly because yeah, the, it's closer problem, and tighter gameplay. The so so here's the thing, and people make this point all the time that they haven't touched arena commander or star marine in a long time and so here's the, here's the actual reason why and i why i think theaters of war might be different right so star citizen isn't isn't just space combat star citizen isn't just an fps game it is both of those things working together at the same time so if you try to balance either in a vacuum you're not going to get good results when you put it into the live environment. So now they've made theaters of war, which allows them to do just that. And I mean, also throw in uh, uh, ground vehicle combat in there as well. Yeah. You end up with a pretty complex thing you yes. need to solve. Shiver, your thoughts? <clears throat> I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> Uh, you can. What's the, what, okay, okay, what's the second thought? I want coffee. Okay. Mm. Um, Third? Are you excited? Coffee a second ago. Are you going to join us in Theaters of War? Probably. Good. Most likely. Do you like, uh, have you, do you like, uh, are you a Battlefield guy, Sugar? I am. I was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. actually. Me, also me, I was a Battlefield guy. I Same played right so much, uh. I played so much, uh, it's one of those back in the day type of things, but I played so much Battlefield 1942. Like, oh, yeah. I, oh, for, I, was a for, 20, I was a 2142 guy myself. Oh, yeah. 2142 was mm. the best. Mm. For a while, I was in, I, I played in like one of those professional clan things that did like matches and like everyone had their roles and. Dirk, I, I, I'm I, saying it'll be balanced a heck of a lot better than balancing them separately in a vacuum. That was my point. Um, Niscavian, Niscavian asks, I am sure everyone knows CIG is holding this Invictus uh, event in honor of my, my birthday. Do you think we will? Uh, I will get a Starship cake or is the cake a lie? <laughs> well... Unfortunately, the cake is always a lie. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the number one rule of gaming. Mm -hmm. Also, cakes just never not that fall. Good. Go for cupcakes. Never fall for the cake. Mm -hmm. Cupcakes are better. The cakes we cover like an enormous. Ca cakes cover an enormous range of foods. <laughs> Could make you a cake. Yeah, that's like saying barbecue. Three faces, if you want, Moscavian. That's like saying barbecue. Are you talking about like Texas brisket barbecue or are you talking about Korean oh. barbecue? Because those are two completely different things. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a Jake here. Look. Look, listen. If you're <laughs> if you're ever in Stop. Texas Look if you, listen. If you're ever in Texas, uh the barbecue's as good as you think it is. Yes. One hundred percent. Funnily in enough, fact, happy birth well, happy belated fact, birthday, Bryce Serena. Happy birthday. Absolutely. Uh, in fact, in fact, they opened up I'm a, a second location of the best barbecue I've ever had, and it is six minutes away from me, and everything is well in the universe. Uh, fun <laughs> fact, and I'm not, I'm honestly not sure if they're going to survive uh, COVID, but literally just down at the end of my road, less than two minutes away, uh, was a little place called Meetings. Um, that's I don't a great like name. name. 
I don't like it. I love it. that name. I, I love it. Uh, I don't like it. it and honestly, gross. their barbecue was better than the barbecue I had in Texas. Wow, really? I'm yeah. going to have to show you some tender then. No, so, they... Listen, the, oh. the barbecue you had was the food truck that was at CitizenCon. No, no we, we, we stopped on a barbecue with uh, on the way to you Austin. In, the, no, no, in no. The, the Tesla. Or no, on the way to... Oh, yeah. Houston? On the way to Houston. Yeah. You were, you were there, you Jake. Oh, I will tell you when I find it. I don't think we can remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Rudy, Rudy's is a chain, my dude. That, like... Like, that's like... I'm sure there's Olive better. Garden, Olive Garden is not the comparison I want to make here because it is much better than Olive Garden. But I, I'm it sure there's be in better. That part of your brain. I'm sure there's better. I'm just saying that no, I'm the saying stuff I have down the, the road, one. the stuff I have down the road is better than I had in Texas, which is fantastic because it's in Ottawa and I'm loving it. Uh, Tofu asks, when comes Theaters of War? Soon. Theaters of Soon. War comes when release. Uh, they were saying this month, I believe. So May is current time. Possibly it may come in this May. The three nine it one may patch. it may come in May. Uh, Possibly in the three nine one patch. Noscavian asks: In Ghost of Tsushima, are there mechanics for the proper consumption of sashimi and nigiri? Uh, sadly, no. But That's there are good. no. We don't. But know there this. are proper mechanics for the the creation of it with a katana. Cut. To tell this. Throw tuna tell up this in the story air. now that the wife is uh, gone. It off. It was like having Samara get up and just walk across the room. <laughs> she scared the shit out of me. Um, <laughs> that's, that's from the ring, by the way. Anyway, yeah, we, we had sushi it. the other day. <laughs> we had sushi the other day. I, everyone's politely using chopsticks, picking out what mm -hmm. they want, dipping mm -hmm. it away. Apart, apart from my seven-year-old nephew, who, who has this, uh, who doesn't rough, wash his hands at all, goes to the loo, comes out without washing his hands, and he's grabbing the nigiri with his hands. And I'm like, oh, I'm done. No. Thank you. And I fucking love sushi. I was very oh. hungry that night. <laughs> no, don't. That's so sad. That is In very words, sad. Wash your fucking hands, you grubby little bastards. Yeah, but not your hair. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I really wish we could end right there. I wish that so, was it, and this was the with show. Third, with children, thirteen minutes left, you 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 went too early, man. To be regularly that, just immersed thing. in hand sanitizer. Uh, like like every is, couple hours, just, like, just dunk them in that. You know. This is my take from COVID, right? The whole thing with COVID is who the fuck wasn't washing their hands before, you dirty motherfuckers. Oh, oh, oh we have a code. We, we have what literally a code at work. That's a basic thing. That shit's something you should be taught at five years old to wash your fucking hands. Jake, because Jake. Because you spread disease, you spread illness. I don't want to <laughs> fucking eat the feces that you've just wiped off your ass, you dirty little <laughs> bastard. Wait, what have we all had rants today? Pardon? Have we all had rants today? Yeah. Uh, Not yeah, I guess. Yeah, we've. Rant. That was. I don't a rant really for rant you. very much, but it was a it was a minor rant. Um, um we, we at work we literally have a code because like the the office secretary sets out like food in the morning and like chips and things for people to grab, and there's literally a code when we see a certain person go grab anything. The code goes around the office that that food is now off limits because he has never been seen to wash his hands at the loo. Oh, lovely. That's, that's another weird thing over here in Japan, right? The men's loos, billions and billions of units, right, to go and do your business. Three sinks at most. Never see any <laughs> person wash their fucking hands afterwards. That was, that was before COVID. Wow. It's really weird as well. Some loos, some loos have a sink <clears throat> and a soap, but no towel. What? <laughs> Just like yeah. shake your hands. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tofu. Oh, he hasn't washed his hands. I'll just wash my uh, dry mm. on his back of his suit or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tofu asks, when does Link get his first hotas? Uh, so fun uh, story. Fun story, actually. Uh, so. Link learned to crawl like three days ago. He started crawling. 
Um, and we've been like putting him on his stomach and trying to get him to go for various toys and stuff for a couple of weeks now because he's close to that age. Anyway, what finally did it is we put him on the ground and we put uh, a pair of switch controllers, the, the red and blue switch controllers in the dock in front of him. And that's what he crawled for. He crawled for switch controllers. All right. Game roll already. Yeah. He'll be on the yeah. he'll be on the podcast in a couple of years. He's already been on the podcast. <laughs> no, as like a like a guest. Yeah. Uh Bryce Serena asks, I is he Vic- video game opinions more than I respect David's? <laughs> I introduced introduced my nephew to Rocket League because I have a new chair. Awesome. How do I kick, How there. do I remove Jake from the group? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there you go, Shiver. Oh, what? oh Good mouse pad. Very good. I need a I need a I need a monitor yeah. like that. Um it's time. Bryce Trina asks, is the Invictus event supposed to be an in-universe celebration of Armed Forces Day? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, basically, yes, yeah. Memorial Day. Um as it as it is taking place on Memorial Day weekend. And Tofu asks, um, are there really special events like flyovers on Evictus Day? Probably. Uh, they, 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 they're not they allowed to do Evictus Day because evictions have been banned. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I mean, they, they said there's going to be flyovers. I hope there are. Um, so, just like as a very quick aside, if anybody's wondering how Star Citizen's funding is doing, I just dropped a picture into the into the chat. Spoilers, it's doing just fine. <laughs> better than it has ever been. And continues to get better and better and better. Um but And they're not even doing so any ship sales. That's like are they beating like what? Oh no, okay. Yeah. Yes, they are. It's that's, better than it has ever been, David. Yeah, by that's, a long that's the, country mile. As I, I t- I've talked about this for years that their year-over-year revenue is very, very flat for years, for like five years, and it's just through the roof now. <clears throat> um, they're gonna be okay. Yep, they're gonna be just fine. I love oh. that Star Helix said. I can't wait to see people ram the flyover ships. <laughs> off to prison i go <laughs> it's equally it's not just with people buying ships it's new people coming and buying the game uh, oh yeah there's, there's a lot of people who have a lot more time right now and when you've 40, got time 45 bucks man <laughs> you look at things and you're like all right i'll have one of them so a good example of this, like I've, I've followed the funding very, very closely over the years. And um, for a very long time, a day when there was no sale happening, um, they made about 30 grand um, on that day. This year, almost every single day this year, they've cleared 100 grand. And in May, they've been sitting at or above 200 grand most days. Like It is. It's it's just, people's, people have nothing to do but look at their normal day-to-day funding is really high right now. Well, it's like Animal Crossing. There's stuff to do. Video game now. <laughs> it is. It's slowly. Actually, that's what I was noticing with the actually being able to respawn properly now. I'm like, <laughs> wow, it's it's getting there. Bless you. Uh, <laughs> Animal Crossing. Bless, bless you. Where is it? Um. Uh. Animal Crossing sold more than 5 million copies since it debuted debuted March 20th. Uh, debuted? Debuted. Debuted. Uh, it's a weird word, okay? It, uh, it's at 8. What? It's at 8 now. Yeah, but like it, wow. it broke the previous sales record held by Black Ops 3. Um, yep. Yeah, like, yeah, everyone's like, every like the switch is all the, the switch is all went to freaking out of stock again everywhere because yep. people were buying them to play Animal Crossing. Man, do you, you want stuff switch? to do? I can buy a switch. Oh, I'm I've sure you can my, buy one in Japan. I got my Never. nice rose pink switch. I'm so happy about it. 
shiver. I wish. It's beautiful. I wish you could somehow get your hands on a copy of Ring Fit Adventure. <laughs> they somehow. advertised it on the TV yesterday. I, they, they don't exist anywhere in the Western world. No, in North America, it's like, I'm just they're not even here anymore. They don't well, exist. Uh, Actually, I, I, I wasn't going to mention this earlier, but I'm going to mention it now. I was wondering if NVIDIA might have uh, neglected to show off any of their consumer-grade hardware because uh, shipping concerns right now and manufacturing That's concerns right now. Didn't they do the same with uh, Pascal, though? They showed off the server... Or, uh, they did. They yeah. the... I, I think they did, yeah. but they also said this time that they were like the two were coming more closely in concert with each other, and I'm wondering if they're not showing it off because uh, they they need to manufacture a hell of a lot more consumer grade than. Um, also, like, every time this all, every time this comes around, they also like to play chicken with AMD. They yeah. they do it every single time. There's always these rumors that they're going to announce, and then there's rumors they're going to announce, and then they just don't do it just to see if AMD does something. And, like, it happens all the time. Yeah, I think they they probably intentionally leak that they're about to announce something to see if AMD yeah. pulls the trigger first. That's, like, what happened with the... Uh, it, this is not NVIDIA, but Intel, when they did that ridiculous demo with, like, the... like. Oh, yeah. Like huge, like thousand watt water cooler that was sitting behind the stage. Um, and they're like, it can run at five gigahertz. It's like, I yeah, know it can't. <laughs> I, I wonder exactly why, though, thing. because like what they've got is what they've got. If they don't announce now, do you think they can get something Prices. new in like three months? No, like pricing. Also. Pricing. It's I know, a, but it's just... a lot of people have believed for many years that NVIDIA is actually holding back on what they can do versus what they do because it's what makes them the most money. Bob, I, I've missed you. I, I don't... Hey, like have you, Bob? I genuinely missed you. I hope you're all right. Just, just be good and, like... No, 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 not conspiracies. I'm just... I'm, what I'm saying is that there's a difference between which product you can make and have the highest profit margin and the best product you can possibly make. There's a big difference between that, especially when you're sitting on top of the market and you have no real push to make the best thing you can. Yeah. Why would you if it costs more? Well, one, because people would buy it, <clears throat> and two, because it would innovate. And three, because that's what you're supposed to do. You make the best you can, and then you make something better. You should unfortunately, be pushing. The, unfortunately, the, at some point, it does really come down to the shareholder thing. Uh, American exceptionalism happened entirely because they reached for things that were out of reach, like the moon. And then when they stopped reaching, uh, well, look where we are now. I think you'll find that Trump is still reaching. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Thank you for joining us this week. <laughs> I think you'll find that I thought you'll think I think you'll find that most of that was because they thought Russia was going to blow them up, um, or the Soviet Union. Um, but uh, yeah, um, this was a lot of fun, folks, and we are yeah. out of time almost. Uh, Jake, do your thing, man, All and then Shiver, right. do your thing I afterwards. Even, I even have a thing to promote. What? As well. Ooh. Uh, well, it's it's pretty far out, but I just want to stick it in people's brains uh, for right now. All right. Thank you for joining us. Yes, they are all wrong. Heavy Bob. Blame David. Um, if you enjoyed today's show, please hit the follow button. The little heart down there. Hit smack it. And then uh, see the little bell? You hit that too. And then you won't have to ask when we go live anymore. Because then the great Bezos the gods will <laughs> descend upon your email and let you know. Uh, if you really enjoyed the stream, you can support us by hitting that subscribe button. Um, we use all of those funds to guarantee that we go to any and all CIG events. So when those happen again, uh, we'll, we'll be able to go and it is all thanks to you. So thank you very much. Um, please join us 
on Discord at discord.gg slash relay sc. Uh, please hang out with us. We talk about Star Citizen. We talk about various video gamey things, and it's a good time. Um, uh, we we should call it that Unreal uh, Five demo too, just for a second. Oh yeah, please go uh, watch that. It's amazing. if you haven't seen it, go watch. Um, it. it it is some black magic wizardry, and I'm happy about it. Um, also, uh, coming up next in about thirty minutes is uh, the captain's table on Twitch.tv slash the Astro Pub, where this week, hold on, let me find server this week is fast car and hc vertigo on the show and uh that'll be a good time yeah that'll be great um, time uh speaking of the astro pub however um the astro pub uh right before this show um has uh, another show called uh the spice must roll and it was originally uh, the him and a, bear, a bunch of other content creators playing the Dune tabletop RPG. Um, it is thus expanded into playing all sorts of sci-fi related tabletop RPGs, such as the Star Trek adventure game and uh, the Expanse uh, RPG, which is ha which is going on right now. They just started the new season a few weeks ago. Check it out; it's really good. Has some awesome people in it. Why I'm talking about this right now is on August 1st, at least this is the plan, August 1st, uh, there will be a new campaign immediately after the Expanse one uh, called The Wretched Hive. And it is going to be playing the Edge of the Empire rule set of Fantasy Flight's Star Wars tabletop RPG. And the players are going to be Paul the Astropub Shelley. Uh, who else is on it? HP ba Brain Case. Who else is on it? Uh, Darjanator, and there's one more, and I'm forgetting who it is. Uh, and Atomic Zero, those are going to be the players. And the Game Master is going to be yours truly. So please join us. Uh, those That is going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 10 a.m. <laughs> Uh, Pacific time every Saturday right before this show. So if you uh, get up, uh, have some breakfast, come hang out or lunch, depending on what part of the world you're in, or uh, shiver, uh, a sleep, uh, <laughs> the zone, the sleeping zone. That's fine too. You can sleep through the show. I don't care. It's not going to be very good. But we're uh, it's going to be. I can watch it's going the to be, Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's, it's going to be um, uh, we're a bunch of scoundrels who are in the Outer Rim. Um, it's going to basically not touch on the movies at all. We're going to try and survive in the seedy underbelly of the criminal world of Star Wars. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, I'll remind you about it periodically, but just wanted to put it in your brains. Shiver. That's awesome. And then, Shiver, and then I'm going to go after you, Shiver. Speaking of tabletop games... Uh, we've got, well, God. Okay, so first of all, uh, I don't know, depending on your time zone, Monday, I'm guesting on Soul Citizens, which is Fast Cart's podcast. It's not just for Fast Cart. Uh, Griffin Gaming runs it. It's going to be fun. Kemi65 uh, is there. If you Sunday. haven't watched one of his streams, you should watch his stream. Sunday for normal people, Monday for me. <laughs> uh, Wednesday, we've got a uh, follow-up to VTM question and answer thing over on my channel and then saturday this is again all your normal people time zones uh we have the next episode of vtm yep oh Good night. and friday night on the base doing dead air which is why we've moved vtm a day later that week yeah makes sense so, um, Tofu asked me to explain the 150-meter hop thing from uh, Space Race. So, um, this is a maybe, but there is actually a license out for it, or a, 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 a warning to planes not to get exploded. Um, anyway, um, basically, on Monday... Um, Sometime during the day, they don't put out a precise launch time. 
Um, in Boca Chica, Texas, Starship uh, will be doing its first flight. The first flight of a full-sized Starship. Um, and, uh, well, the tank section of it, anyway. Um, and so that's pretty exciting. Um, there's a decent chance that it will explode. So that's uh, also pretty exciting, because it's enormous. Um, <laughs> and uh, I recommend everyone come to watch. I will definitely be uh, streaming that. I'm also going to be uh, streaming the Starlink launch, which is now Monday morning at 2 a.m. my time. I think it's like 3.23 a.m. Eastern time. So middle of the damn night. Uh, hopefully someone joins me. Um, and then, so yeah, later that day we'll be doing the, uh, we'll, we'll be covering the Starship hop. Um, so, and, and for those who are confused, uh, SpaceX Starship is, uh, the vehicle they're building to eventually take people and cargo to the moon and Mars. Yeah. That's all the stuff. Cool. Yeah. Now that the stuff is done, I bid thou all st fairest of the wells and eat lots of pineapple. And don't forget to trip on small dogs. And also, uh, what's that? that? Is that a pen? We don't like that. Yeah, pen for your pineapple. And all we need now is I got a pen. I got an apple. Pico Taro is fucking amazing. I love that man. I have no I idea what's happening, which man. means this is a good time to either start or stop a podcast. In this case, it's and going to be stopping. Apple pen. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you in a week, and uh, stay safe, bastards. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Goodbye.